We live in the greatest country in the world, the United States of America. Part of what makes this nation great is the guarantee it has always provided to our rights and freedoms as citizens. Our leaders have affirmed time and again that those rights and freedoms are inalienable and come, as President John F. Kennedy stated in his inaugural address, not from the generosity of the state, but from the hand of God. Another thing that makes our country great are the laws we pass to protect our rights and freedoms. Tragically, for our entire nation, I believe, we are witnessing the gradual but steady, active governmental erosion of the protection this nation has always guaranteed for the free exercise of religious beliefs in accordance with our consciences, what we call religious liberty. One example of this erosion is the so-called Affordable Care Act, first announced by the Department of Health and Human Services in August of this past year. The HHS rule, in effect, requires that sterilization and contraception, including controversial abortion-inducing drugs, be included among preventative services coverage in almost every health care plan available to Americans. This mandate would oblige us in the Catholic Church as an employer, in all the organizations and institutions that we sponsor and support. Such an affront to religious liberty constitutes an unprecedented assault on the consciences of Catholics, 25% of the United States population, and upon people of all faiths and no faiths. Despite many appeals and efforts by the U.S. bishops and many outraged Catholic citizens, the federal government has refused to broaden the religious exemption to these rules and on January 20th indicated that this mandate would take effect August 1st, 2013, with no exceptions and substantial penalties for noncompliance. In other words, we have, as Archbishop Dolan said, one year to prepare to violate our consciences. The United States Conference of Catholic Bishops has pointed out that even those who disagree with the Church's teaching on the sanctity of life recognize that the government has no business forcing religious institutions to sponsor and pay for procedures and drugs which violate their teachings. Never before in our United States history has the federal government forced citizens to directly purchase what violates our beliefs. At issue here is the survival of our constitutionally protected freedom that ensures respect for conscience and religious liberty. To allow this mandate to go forward unchecked and unchallenged opens the door to even more intrusion and erosion of what our forefathers came to this nation to seek and find and what has contributed so clearly to our greatness as a country. As a community of faith, we Catholics must pray that justice will prevail, that our consciences may be protected and our religious freedoms restored. That is always our first and most important resort. In addition, as Bishop of the Diocese of Trenton, I ask our Catholic people to write to Congress and to urge our legislators to support the Respect for the Rights of Conscience Act. More information on all of this is available on the United States Catholic Conference of Bishops website at www.usccb.org slash conscience. This is such an important issue and critical moment for all of us. If our nation walks down this dangerous road, we are sure to get lost in the process.